Welcome everyone to our Thursday session of the Mindfulness Challenge, uh, the first week, and I uh, hope you've been doing well so far. And if you do have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Today we have a special meditation around COVID-19 because of course uh, it brings up so much uncertainty and anxiety. And so with me today is Vivian Burgle, uh, my colleague and EFR consultant, and she does a number of our phone meditations and, um, and other meditations as well as EFR services. So first, before she does the meditation, I want to just remind you about these phone meditations. You can always use these uh, for your daily meditation. So Monday through Friday, um, you'll see it there. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2. There's the phone number and access code. And if those times are not good for you, we have a, uh, a line you can call in on, that blue box there, 203-688-6185. And you can call that anytime, and there's a choice of three different meditations on there. So um, let me then now turn it over to Vivian, and she's going to do a meditation called An Island of Calm. Vivian? Oh, thank you, Bud. Well, as Bud said, the pandemic is causing a great deal of anxiety. And what I'm finding is that people now are very fearful of a future surge and worried about if children are going back to school and if so, will it be safe? So welcome to this meditation, which I hope will help you feel more calm and peaceful during this difficult time. And that you can continue to find moments of calm going through this difficult time. So first, get settled in your chair. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes, or you can do a gentle downward gaze. And as best as you can, see if you can just be still, just resting in the body and stillness, coming to rest in the present moment. Right now, here we are. Let's accentuate the calming aspect of that too. Just feeling what it's like for the mind and body to rest here, just for a moment. We're not trying to calm down, that's too much to ask, and just sets us up for disappointment. We're just trying to experience a little island of calm, a few moments at a time, to give ourselves some needed rest. So take a moment to just rest now in the stillness of your body sitting here. Next, in this moment of stillness, see if you can just wait for the breath to rise all on its own. You don't need to take a deep breath or a special breath or do anything at all really. Just be here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. As thoughts come up, as they will, you can just say, no thanks, or quiet please, or nothing at all. Just gently let your attention just settle back on the physical sensations of the breath in your chest or your abdomen, wherever you feel it. In this meditation, as thoughts come and go as they do, notice whether they are focused on the past, the present, or the future. What do you notice? Memories, for example, are obviously focused on the past. Fears about what will happen tomorrow are focused on the future, which we can't predict or control. So as thoughts arise, pay attention for just a few minutes and just place a soft, non-judgmental label on them. Is it past, present, or future? Then after the thought, we come back to something happening now. 
the body and stillness, the rhythmic chest rising and falling, or maybe something else, maybe something you are hearing, my voice, or noise in the room, or something that you are feeling in the body, anything that is happening right now. Let's take some time to try that right now. Notice also that the present moment doesn't have to be beautiful or harmonious. It could actually be anything. The point is that we're not lurching forward to think about an uncertain and potentially dangerous future. We're just letting the mind and body rest here in the present moment. When the thought comes up about the past or the future, notice that and come back to something that is happening right now. Maybe noticing your breath, the in and the out. A thought arises and we ask past, present or future. That's fine. We let it go and we come back to something happening now. Maybe feeling the body sitting against the chair, feeling the chair supporting the body. See if you can notice that right now, just the weight of your body in this moment. Of course, it's not bad to plan for the future or think about the future. That's natural in what we do. But when you are in an anxious time, as we all are now, those thoughts can spiral very quickly out of control. So anchoring in the present moment allows us to rest from that anxiety each time you come back to the present. You are giving your mind a little break from the stress it's under. Again, keep your goals modest. We're not trying to banish anxiety forever. That's not realistic and it's too difficult. We're just trying to relax out of it for little bits of time. Have an island of calm when we need it. So as we close this meditation, just recentering on the physical sensations of the body, sitting in stillness, the breath coming and going, all on its own. And take a nice deep breath and let it out slowly. And when you're ready, just open your eyes slowly and thank yourself for taking this time to self-care. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you, Vivian. That was wonderful. I really feel much calmer and sort of like I'm on that island right there. Yeah, and this so, is something you can do at any time. Yeah, that was great. So thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, tomorrow we will be sending out the Friday lesson, which will just be a little bit of a recap and then some suggestions for the weekend. So again, try this one. You can always tune back into this Island of Calm or any of the other meditations, including the phone meditations. Have a wonderful rest of your day and don't forget to try to do some of the informal practice as well that we've talked about. So you all take care and um, see you soon. Yeah, bye-bye.